Now, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, of the United Nations has reported that 1.39 million hectares of cropland have been submerged by flooding in northeast Nigeria, worsening an already severe food insecurity crisis. Now, this announcement was made during the 2024 World Food Day event, which held in collaboration with the Adamawa State Government in Yola. Speaking during the event, Dauda Dombia, FAO Head of Office for the Northeast, represented by Dr. Abdullahi Usman, FAO Field Office Coordinator for Adamawa, highlighted the significant impact of flooding between September the 16th and 30th this year. Now, the FAO official expressed concern over the region's worsening food insecurity due to climate change, emphasizing that rain fed and irrigated crop lands in Borno. Adamawa and Yobe, which make up the Bay State, have been severely affected. Now, over 104,000 hectares of rain-fed cropland and 6,570 hectares of irrigated cropland were submerged, leading to estimated food losses of 166,731 metric tons. In Nigeria, particularly in the Northeast, we are confronted with profound issues of food insecurity. Recent data revealed that from 16 to 30 September, approximately 3.82 million hectares of land experienced flooding, affecting 1.39 million hectares of crop land. Among the hard hit states are Peru, where 143,395 hectares of crop land were flooded, and Adamawa, where 58,000 and 58,588 hectares of land were also affected. The flooding has severely impacted farmers during what was expected to be a bumper at this season. Now, represented by Halima Mohammed, Program Manager, Adamo Agricultural Development Agency, Jetal acknowledged progress toward achieving zero hunger by 2030, and however, stressed that hunger and malnutrition still affect millions worldwide. We aim to introduce to a world where everyone has access to nutritious food. We are here today. We acknowledge the progress made towards achieving zero hunger by 2030. Yet, we also recognize that hunger and malnutrition persist, affecting millions worldwide. Agriculture generally managed by smallholder and lack of access to mechanization. Their production is always small, which results into about 2.8 billion people that cannot afford healthy diet. The state, aside from all those mentioned areas which have direct effects on in Nigeria, in Adamawa State, we have flooding, which affects over 50,000 people, just 2024 20, alone, with significant damage to agricultural lands, infrastructure. This requires for urgent, fast, quick, and effective action in order to solve this problem. Otherwise, in the next two, three months, this price we are expecting Harvest, I will not call it bumper harvest, we will still have lots of issues to face. What the FAO is doing is in line with the objectives of food security. In other words, making food available for the common man, which is the basis for life. The FAO has done a very, very commendable job here, and we have uh, a opened up the eyes of us, many that we have seen here and uh, you can see clearly from their harvest that uh, this is a laudable, laudable project. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.